Okay, so I'm here to talk about uh, a new product line that Harman has, which is kind of the new generation after the uh, conventional ADAS you've just seen, and we call it augmented navigation. Now, first of all, Harman, in general, you know, we have three divisions. The first is the pro division, which is about $1 billion of business. The second is lifestyle. You might know the uh, brands we have there, which are JBL, uh, Mark Levinson, uh, and uh, earbuds, and so on. And the third is, of course, infotainment, $3 billion business with about $20 billion in backlog. Now, <clears throat> four of uh, five uh, luxury cars today have Harman technology. And you might have it if you have a BMW or if you have a Mercedes, you might have our technology in your car. And what those technologies are, <clears throat> so navigation. Navigation started with uh, the Harman turn-by-turn -turn navigation in 1997. We were the, one of the first to launch that. Then uh, you had TomTom -Tom with the PDA navigation. Then again, we came up with the 3D navigation. And later on, the latest development was the uh, app-based navigation, crowdsource navigation by Waze. On a separate lane, we see the track of ADAS. It started in 1992 with the Mitsubishi lane um, keeping. In 2003, Toyota has presented the forward collision warning. In 2008, BMW presented the traffic sign recognition. And now we are moving into the next generation. And you know, about half a year ago, Mary Barra has announced the Cadillac CTS 2017. We'll have uh, not just the uh, vision ADAS, but also car to car communication, which we call a V2X. And that's one more step towards uh, autonomous uh, vehicles. Now, what I'm about to show you right now is how those two different uh, tracks are merging into one prod product that we call uh, augmented navigation, and we will show you why would you need it and how would you do that.